I'm with uh, David Suchet here in Manger Square, Bethlehem. Now, David, what are you doing here in the Holy Land? Well, uh, we we're on a trip, really. We started in England on on a big uh, series for Audible, Amazon, on David Suchet's questions of faith. And the first one is, can there be peace? And what we're doing is speaking to the main, well, the three Abrahamic faiths. We're talking to the Christians, to Muslims, and to Jews, and getting their point of view uh, challenging, uh, finding out where they stand. And here in Bethlehem, I've had the privilege of speaking to Imam and Christians and Christian Palestinians and to see if I can find out what the tensions are and what are what is if anything is unifying them because what is seems to be in Bethlehem everybody is holding up this city as an example to the world of how Christians and Muslims in this place of Bethlehem really coexist and get on mm. Has it given you a heart and an understanding more about the Palestinian people? I'm learning. I'm learning every day. Uh, this is a, a, a real journey for me. I don't, I don't come here with, A, I'm not a theologian, B, I'm an actor, and uh, I'm talking to people and learning as I go. And the more, the more I learn, the more, well, the more desperate uh, I feel in my heart because although there is a possibility for peace, and that if everybody is working together, but it's these great big theological issues, literal translations of the Bible, possession of land, etc., etc., which is separating people, and yet we all come from the same Abrahamic root. It's, uh, it's sad. Now you're here in Bethlehem, and Bethlehem is where it all started as the Christian faith. How has it been for you? Has it been a spiritual experience just being here in Bethlehem? Well, it's, what's lovely for me is that this is, this is not my first time. Uh, the very first time I came here were, were many, many years ago when it was a very different place. I was in 1975. But it is a very special place for me as a Christian coming here. It's, you know, the, the manger square and the church of the nativity. Uh, it's it really is and I go down into the cave and see the place where Christians believe Jesus was born and it's uh, it's very moving yes and it's grounding you need to I think every Christian needs to come to the Holy Land because it is the fifth gospel mm. now you're going to Jerusalem next and speaking to, to Jewish people what sort of you want to hear from them I want to hear their point of view. I want to hear their stance. I want to learn where they're coming from. I want to know what supports their beliefs. Um, I want to speak to both liberals who believe that it is possible to unite and to get together. I want to speak to Zionists. I want to speak to all sorts of people to give me um, a really good overview of the problem as it is because I want this to relate to all the time to the three Abrahamic faiths which should, which should if you listen to Jesus and the belief of what he says, we should all love one another. Are you wanting to come across in a very balanced way to understand the Palestinian side and the Israeli side? I'm not, I want to give, I want to come across as every man in the world who's walking the streets of ordinary cities outside of the Middle East saying, what is going on? Now this is a lot different than playing Poirot. Do you miss being Poirot? Yeah, I do. I miss the old boy. He, he was a great part of my life for a quarter of a century. Yeah, I do miss him. He's, he, I'm told he's on television every day somewhere in the world, uh, but, which I'm very pleased and grateful for. But he was a great part of my life. And uh, I, part of him, I think, is, will be with me forever because uh, you can't do one role for 25 years and just, just put him on the shelf and forget. Yeah. Now, Jesus is a very important part that plays in your life as well. How did you become a believer? Oh, that's a very, <laughs> that's a very, very uh, big question. What well, it needs a very long answer. Basically, I had a, I had a conversion experience in America, uh, in Seattle, and then Portland, Oregon. That's where it all began in 1986, where I was uh, metaphorically picked up by the scruff of the neck and my head pushed into the Bible, mm. and I went straight to as uh, not really convinced about Jesus at that time in any way whatsoever, because I only did him for examinations and, uh, you know, GCE and and those sort of things. I was um, I, I opened Paul's letter to the Romans, and by the f time I'd finished that, I was sufficiently moved and, and motivated to find out a lot more, and that was the first step. Now, there's not a lot of conflict here in the Middle East. What's your prayer finally for the Middle East? My prayer is the prayer of St. Francis, but for all the world, and may Christians make me an instrument of thy peace, where there is you know where there where there is conflict let there be hope where there's 
hatred, let there be love, etc., etc. That wonderful prayer. My prayer is for the three Abrahamic faiths to come together in love and peace. Lovely, David Suchet. Thank you very much. Thank you.